Recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA, it's The William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Junior Dancer. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Brett Erickson. And now, here he is. The Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. This seems like a danger zone in here a little bit, Grant. It's for sure a hazard. I think, I think it's fine. Oh, she's oh he can hear us. I think you guys are fine. Do you guys hear me? Yeah. Do you hear me in your headphones? <laughs> <laughs> Not just like through the wall? I hope that's, I hope that's the headphones. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. We can hear you. We're not meaning to be sassy to you, Grant. We respect you. Yeah, we respect you. Yeah, they respect you. <laughs> <laughs> Andre doesn't. Yeah. No, I respect you. I don't even know you. I respect you. That's how much respect well, I got sweet, for you. Well, that's sweet, but you don't have to say that because you don't know him yet. I mean, no, I I y'all do not need to respect me. It's fine. Well, huh? now I don't respect uh -huh. you. What? <laughs> what does that mean? That's almost like a weird thing you just, just that's, No, that is a weird thing yeah. you just said. What just do you mean? Just respect the studio. That's all I ask. My feet are covered in mud. <laughs> yeah, what do you think about that? They're literally, I'm looking at him. He has black shoes on, covered in brown mud. We're, covered in mud. We're, we're trying something new. It's clay. Covered you in were clay. down at the basin? I was down at the river basin. Ooh. By the Shakataw Forest. Shakataw Forest? Shakata. Yeah. East mm. Texas. Nice. Down by Laredo. What were you doing oh. down there? Collecting coins. Oh. That's what? what? That people left in the riverbed, or old, where they coming from? Old miners used to make this special wish once a year at the bottom of the lake. And you found the location? <laughs> Just out there fucking up wishes? Like. <laughs> <laughs> I stole their wishes and gained their immortal powers. Jesus. And also probably some money. I mean, some of those coins, if they're old enough, probably have silver in them. Yep. Yeah. They're full of co colloidal silver. Ooh, don't ingest that stuff. Very healing, but turns your skin blue. Is that the shit Alex Jones was pushing? <laughs> Something silver, like that. silver yeah, bullet. Well, <laughs> It'll make your skin blue. Oh, look at this. Yeah, there's a great picture of that man. Have you seen that picture? I assume where the guy is literally blue. <laughs> where? It's on the internet oh, the, somewhere. Grant, oh, pull God. up, man. Eat silver turns blue. You should see this guy. It's like who is okay, the girl? Moment. Who is the girl on the movie about the like magician guy with the candy factory? Shrek. Shrek. Willy Wonka? <laughs> Willy Wonka. Shrek is in the second Willy Wonka, I think. Is but regardless, he's like that girl. Uh, <laughs> Willy Wonka too. W yeah, Willy Wonka too. I think Shrek is River in that. Chocolate, Chocolate River. Yeah, River Phoenix is in it. River there Chocolate's is. in it. Oh, what the, the colloidal fuck? man. Oh. What's wrong with him? Too much silver? Too much silver. <laughs> Too much colloidal silver. I already warned you. What is that stuff? Like a liquid? He looked like Grimace. He does. Is that, oh, <laughs> that's in, he puts that on his skin for sure. Right? It's think coming. So? I think it's coming out of his skin. I think from, that's what his skin turned into from inside out. Yeah, it's not like a lotion. It's not like the old sunscreen you'd put on that made your skin blue. I remember we used to put that shit on. Oh yeah, and like the Heinz ketchup that was purple oh. and green. Yeah, easy squirt or something. I didn't really like that though. Neither did I. That was him as a young man before his terrible silver accident. That's a lot of silver accidents. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot. Or did he fall into a vat or silver? He could have fallen into a <laughs> molten vat. Like the Joker? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the Joker. <laughs> Is that the best Batman? The Joker? Joker? No, uh, that original one. Do y'all like that? Do y'all like Michael Keaton? I no, I like the one with the Bane. What's it? Yeah. Tom Hardy. I like that one. I I was abandoned as a boy. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> My father was, I was rude. I was born in the darkness. <laughs> My father was a rude man. <laughs> I love silver. <laughs> That's what it looks like this guy sounds like. It looks like that guy yeah, sounds that way. I love silver. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. It's all I can eat. It's metal. <laughs> <laughs> Those weird metal teeth. Are those his teeth? Yeah. <laughs> trying to get that mask right now. What's going on with the mask? Oh, uh, this guy? Yeah, like mechanical teeth. Yeah. No, that's like his uh, oxygen. <laughs> Whoa, Grant. Whoa. Too much silver. But this bye. guy with the special effects. <clears throat> that's like his oxygen. Uh, if you pull it, he can't breathe. Yeah. 
Oh. He says, it would be very painful. <laughs> if I do a good vein. I didn't even know that. You do do a good vein. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a great Wednesday so far. How's wow. it? Would you eat? It's not even. It's not even the weekend yet, and I'm already doing a great pain. Yes, things are good. <laughs> um, what I eat? Well, I woke up an hour ago. I had a bowl of Kraft macaroni, the type you make in the microwave. Pretty good. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. With some Tony Sasseries on it. Ooh. Did it up and spice? Yeah, spicing it up. <laughs> I like a Velveeta cheese and shells myself. Oh yeah, it's really good in the silver packet. Yeah. I wonder what that kind of silver is, because it holds that cheese sauce. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. <laughs> Maybe as the episode goes on, we'll Grant. get to the bottom of it. <laughs> yeah, the silver packets made. Andre, how are you? First off, Andre, thank you so much for being on our show today. Yeah, of course. Are we recording? I think. Grant, you better have been fucking recording. That was good silver stuff. I'm recording. Thank you. Oh, cool. Wow. Yeah, that was pretty good silver stuff. Oh, I didn't know we were recording. Oh, <laughs> you are recording. No, I can't really do it. How are you? are recording. You are recording. Very That's good. a good uh, golem. What's it? Oh, yeah, that kind of the golem. That's good golem. Yeah. Good morning. Oh, bars of silver. Hi, I'm uh, golem. Yeah, thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> He's like just some weird kid. Yeah, he's like a baby. Hi, it's me, Gollum. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, so, it's so clear. It's creepy. <laughs> oh, uh, it's me, Gollum. Hi, it's me. I'm just a little boy. Good morning. It's uh, very creepy. Yeah, he says it's good morning. Yeah, after everything. Just good morning. Good morning. Oh, there's baby Gollum. <laughs> oh, look at that. As I live and breathe, it's baby Gollum. It's baby Gollum. <laughs> yeah. Those baby blues. I know. He has nice baby blue eyes. Mm -hmm. I didn't really know that necessarily. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. That looks like uh, Tales from the Crypt. Did you ever watch that? Baby Tales from the Crypt? Yeah. That is. What it is. Mm. That was good. Oh. Mike R. Skeletons. Or no, what was that guy's name? <laughs> then I was thinking there was that stupid SNL sketch where his name was something Skeletons. David S. Pumpkins? Oh, yes, David, David S. S. Pumpkins, S. not David S. Skeletons. <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what That's happened good. in that thing? It was just people dancing? They are just dancing. Bobby Moynihan, famous SNL cast member, Bobby Moynihan. Yeah. And Tom Hank. There they are. Uh, Mikey, Mikey Day. Yeah, I remember yeah. those funny out, the funny skeleton outfits and the stupid <laughs> things on their head. Yeah. Uh <sighs> It's a good pumpkin jacket. You never see a good pumpkin jacket. Not this time of year. No. no. It's hard to find at the mall this time of year. I worked at a place in uh, Boulder, Colorado one time where they, we sold those suits, like silly looking suits, like probably a bunch of them warm yesterday. There was a bunch of like st stars and stripe suits and uh, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People would order and I'd have to go find the shit in the warehouse and <laughs> put it in a basket. And they gave me good deals. I got a couple pairs of sunglasses. Very cheap sunglasses. I had to do this thing for their Christmas party. My buddy and I, it was a buddy, he did like a bunch of improv and some stand-up in Denver, and he got me this gig. And they were doing these buses from the bar to this weird like office building space that they made some big maze. Like it was kind of like a cool company, it seemed like. There's like a keg in there and shit. Yeah. But I had to do stand up or I had to entertain the people from the bus, like a 30 minute bus ride on, from the fucking brewery to this place. On the I, bus. Yeah, like I don't even. Tour guide or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even really remember what I was doing. Whoa. That looks These like the suits? company. What is that company, Grant? The. Grant? The, the Bay, maybe? No, it's. Uh, the Bay. Come on, man. Compton. Yeah, come on. <laughs> come on <man>. Sorry. <laughs> Easily Compton. Easily Compton. <laughs> Look at the guy, the second... That's West, with, West with the, Baltimore. <laughs> West, West Baltimore. <laughs> it could be West Baltimore. Most of them are, I don't know, a little bit happy, but the guy <laughs> in the pure red suit, he looks like he's all Christmas business. He looks he like he's trying to fuck something. Yeah, he's, he's trying, trying to... to that's what he looks like. <laughs> close the deal. Yeah. Close like, the deal at the Christmas party with the maze inside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was weird. It was this long, elaborate maze. It took minutes to get through the maze, and <laughs> like a corn maze. Ne yeah, but it was it was, but it would wasn't made of corn. Oh, so think corn maze, but made out of cardboard and oh, 
I don't even remember now. It was a bad time. <laughs> it was a generally really bad time in Denver. Yeah. Are you from Denver? I don't know much about you. From Memphis. Well, Memphis. I, we don't know much. Right. I don't know much about you. Where are you yeah. from, Andre? I'm from Lubbock, Texas, where we actually have corn mazes. Mm. Oh, really? Is that where they originated? I don't know about originate, but they definitely keep the tradition alive. The Lubbock <laughs> Labyrinth. The Lubbock Labyrinth. The Lubbock Labyrinth. Yeah. Is that one of the biggest ones? Not only Texas, but the world, maybe? Oh, I've, ac- I've actually never heard that. You just made that up, no? Maybe it's a secret. Yeah, it's one of the biggest ones in the Southeast. Lubbock Labyrinth? Yeah, the Lubbock Labyrinth. That's amazing, because we're in the Southwest. I know. <laughs> so it's kind of a genetic anomaly. Yeah, it's wild. It's super <laughs> weird. Geographic freaks out. That's how big it is. And don't get yeah. caught in the middle of it after dark, I think. I think they really snatch people out of there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like rough. There's a minotaur. Yeah, it's Brutus. Uh, multitudes of kids have gone missing in corn mazes, for sure. 200, 300. Yeah. A yeah, thousand. Minotaurs thousand. get hungry. At night. <laughs> Could you imagine, yeah, an actual minotaur when it you couldn't pay me money to go in a maze with a minotaur. Especially because like isn't he at the middle? So why would you even want to solve it if you have to face this big bastard? Yeah. I thought he chased right. you around the thing. Oh, maybe he does. Maybe he leaves you alone in the middle. I don't know shit about minotaurs. I just Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Looks like Grant after yesterday he had a firework explode in his face. <laughs> yeah, Got him. <laughs> Grant, did you shoot off any fireworks yesterday? I did not. <laughs> you didn't? No. <laughs> Burned down the whole corn cornfield. Yeah, don't be doing people don't need to be doing fireworks and dried out corn mazes. No. It's a death trap. Asking for trouble. Any corn mazes in uh, Memphis? Yeah, there was actually one out at uh, the penal farm. <laughs> that was what it was called. It was like a prison. Yeah. The penal farm. And I'd go ride bikes and you could see all the prisoners like walking around and looking at you and I'd wave and stuff. <laughs> in my spandex, I'd be going real fast and these suckers, they're never going to catch my ass. That's got to be a highlight for the prisoners. I know. Why would I always people? think? There hey, he is again. The fast on? kid. Yeah, there's a fast guy. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hey, it's good to see you. Hello. Hello. Try to throw him a, a lollipop. I know. That would be like, uh, did y'all like those ones with the gum or the Tootsie Rolls in the middle better? Uh, with the gum. I, like I did gum. like some of the Tootsie Rolls, but I like the gum. Blow Pops. Blow Pops. Blow I got to be in a very specific mood to want a Tootsie Roll like that. Nine times out of ten, I'm going to want a piece of gum. Yeah. Yeah. Very I know. That's a weird, that is a weird mood. How do you feel about Tootsie Rolls themselves? <sighs> mini doo-doo, man. Mini doo-doo. It's like mini wow. doo Makes me want to yak. You know they make yeah. they make flavors. Yeah, I've seen the different uh, colors of the different ones. There's like a red one, a blue one. Yellow. There's a yellow one. The blue one's vanilla. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> they're, they're the delicious. blue one is vanilla. It's tasty. Mm. Yum. You haven't eaten one in a long time. What's up, little guy? 1962, Yum. if I remember correctly. That was when it was founded? That's the last time I had one. Oh, 1962. Oh. <laughs> I was going to believe you that it was founded in <laughs> 1962. I believed you there. Damn. Right before JFK took office. Yeah. Yep. And is that a connection? Might be. <laughs> Could be. They're definitely from Dallas. They started in Dallas. So. Tootsie Rolls? Yeah. How'd you know that? Uh, the building right on the grassy you knoll. I'm from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, it's to commemorate his tragic passing. Yeah. Did a big Tootsie Roll like statue or something on the grassy you knoll? Uh, it's just the factory. Oh, okay. They just built the Tootsie Roll factory. Yeah. They put a little yeah. plaque down there. Said sorry about it. 1962. Yeah. Damn. Rest in peace. Yeah. A little candy factory. Mm. Willy Wonka could work there, maybe. <laughs> Oswald used to work there. Lee Harvey. Lee Harvey. I didn't know if you were talking about Oswald Cobblepot. Is that the, the penguin? penguin? Yeah. <laughs> That's a scary penguin. <laughs> the penguin. Yeah. Is that the one from the Batman? Batman Returns. Oswald Cobblepot. Isn't that his name? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's here. Good morning. Hello. Hello, Hello America. I love a tootsie roll. Yeah, he's right in between us. Grant, this is a weird. You really threw. I can't speak for Casey, but you've really thrown me through a loop today. And I think I don't want to speak for Andre either, but I think 
Andre as well. I mean, this is a crazy setup. There really are wires every. Yeah, I can barely. I can only see half of the TV. Also, there's a camera in the way. It's a work in progress, aren't we all? Yeah. 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 Pretty that's, much. That's deep. That is. Yeah. In many ways, the wires coming from our bodies are our fears. Yep. That's and that's a bunch of them, and they get in little clusters. <laughs> they cluster up when you have a panic attack. Okay, just to be clear, this is the podcast, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> are you guys ready to, like for me to hit record? record? Are you ready? <laughs> are you going to? I mean, we're in a new space. I thought you were joking around with Andre earlier when you said we were recording. Yeah, I was joking about it. I was recording. You were- oh, as you were recording. No, I haven't hit go yet. Are you serious? This entire time? You guys have to prompt me. There was some you great know, riffs in there, too. Is he joking, my ass? Are you joking, Casey, right now? Okay, I'm going to hit go right now. Right now? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and do your, you, do your intro and whole thing. Okay. Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. welcome. <laughs> Andre, <laughs> what's up? What's up? What? Welcome to the show. What's up, dude? <laughs> what's up? Yep. Hey, guys. <laughs> Hey, we like to do about 30 minutes of small talk up, up top. <laughs> yeah. Keep it light. Keep it lighthearted. Get the, <laughs> get the person in here just comfortable right. with the situation, especially in a new thing. Like, like I have yeah. to get comfortable right now. I'm trying to yep. figure out if this is a good way to be doing this. Do you, feel, you feel comfortable? Kind of. I still have that fucking, uh, what do we dang, I, I've been exaggerating saying it's the size of a grape, but the thing in my butthole. Oh, you got the, You really size, don't have a hemorrhoid. It's the size of a marble. I, I was you. literally feeling it 30 minutes ago. Uh, is this your first hemorrhoid? No, I had one last year. Oh, okay. Have you ever had one? Uh, no, but I've pushed hard enough where it's like I thought I had one. Something then, popped out? Yeah, the inside, the yeah. lining pops out. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's the lining. It's yeah. like a new upper dermis or something. Have you ever had one? I've had a. I used to have them. a bunch. He says. I didn't want to say it like in a in like a happy way. I have a good time. Yeah, yeah. I'm you're always. To, you're about to start bragging about yeah. them. Yeah, I'm I get them all the swollen. fucking time. I'm always roided up. Yeah, always <laughs> swollen down there. My dermis is ruined. Yeah. Um. No, I, I had them right when I moved to Boise years ago, and then I ate a bunch of Del Taco. Yeah. For like a month. I ate Del Taco every day for a month. Unrelated. This wasn't my plan. And then after a month, the hemorrhoid just disappeared. Well, yeah. It's true. Really? Di- diarrhea is easier on the Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but it literally cured my hemorrhoid. And it was a bad one. We were all talking about it. Yeah. How Wait, big? Pe- ha- Peter Marble says? Yeah. How big was it? I like Peter Marble says. You ever it, hear that in the weather system? It have to be <laughs> marble or above. It was big. Marble to softball. Not a ball. golf ball. Maybe a golf ball. Wow. Golf ball. Bad size hail, bad Jeez. size hemorrhoid. Yeah. Golf ball. Not size. good. <laughs> Wait, how did you get it? Do you know? I have no from idea. diet or something? Because I've been generally eating the same, but I'm wondering, is it because of what I'm eating? I don't fuck. I don't know. I think mine was from diet. Push. I eat a bunch of trash. Yeah. Push, maybe. Wiping too hard, maybe. Pushing too hard, pulling too hard. Don't pull down there. Yeah. yeah. Like when you're sucking it back up. <sighs> yeah. yeah. Oh, re- shit, I got to get back to the meeting. Oh, get it back up. <laughs> 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 want to avoid the vacuum situation. <laughs> Sometimes you don't want to wipe your butthole, so you suck it back yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, business meeting. Sorry, <laughs> boys, what did I miss? Yeah, yeah, at the firehouse. Oh, my gosh. I was fucking driving on 6th Street the other day, right off of 6th Street. Yeah. And I was kind of late to something, and a fire truck is in front of me, and they turn the lights on, and they're doing the thing where they pull up and then back into the yeah. firehouse. Uh-huh. He almost fucking hit me. <laughs> and I was kind yeah. of in a rush, and I probably could have stopped instead of fucking gunning it a little bit and going, he almost hit my ass. And it would have been my fault. I'm just oh. so happy. I was so relieved when it didn't happen. It was yeah. so close. That would have sucked. Yeah. Those guys love conflict, too. They would have all piled out of it like a clown car and damn beat you senseless. Get their gear on and axes. Swinging their hoses. Yeah. yeah. Those things are heavy, probably. Oh, yeah. Damn. glass style. What kind of car are you driving? Uh, a Volvo. Yeah, it's been good. pretty good. I need to take it back to the auto mechanic. Yeah. The light's coming on. It's a good car. Yeah, it's been a good car. Good safety. Very safe. Uh-oh. Ooh, there's some of the firemen. Don't want to get in an accident with those guys. Fuck. 
Unless you accidentally do. <laughs> As if you accidentally yeah. get an accent with their lips. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe start hugging a little bit. I don't know. Starts with a hug. Starts Probably. with a hug, ends with a hug. Marble sized thing in your butt. This is a real gentleman. Starts with a hug, ends with a hug. Yeah. <laughs> good stuff, man. Yeah. Good sex. You know yeah. I mean? Have a good night. Sorry about hitting your car, man. <laughs> Thanks they would have. They would have loved it. It wouldn't have hurt their giant truck at all. Not at all. At all. Look at the pose on the third one. I don't know if that's a real. One. <laughs> yeah, that's a traditional flex pose. Just no, that's like a Mister Universe forward. pose. Right there. Yeah, yeah, what's up with that? Can't you get a better pump when it's going this way? You would think. Yeah, I never got that one. Ooh, we look good in this look lighting. Look at that! That's I look still huge. looking. Look at those guys. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Did somebody say fire? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Andre, what kind of guns are you working with, man? I got. Can you see? Woo! Oh! Yes, please. Yes, please. Thank you. One of those. What's he doing? Yeah, That's a uh -oh. good one. There he goes. <laughs> and that other guy's fun right above my head. He's kind of, yeah. With the butterfly. That's like a sexy one. Look at that. <laughs> Jesus. Weird. Uh, you guys ever been ripped, ripped? Was there ever a day? High school? Junior high? You ever just? I mean, at one up? point I was biking a lot and doing some triathlons. I, I was kind of ripped then. Yeah. More I had a really lean. big farmer's tan now. <laughs> Very lean. Pretty lean. lean. I was feeling pretty good. Pretty Let good. me find... I have, I have this picture of me looking shredded when I was 14 years old. <laughs> really? I'll, I'll, I'll try to find it. I'll send it. <laughs> That's so funny. I'll send yeah. it. To have you? No, I never have. I've always been just kind of medium athletic build. Do you work out? Not really. I've been going on long walks. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, any kind of moving around. I haven't worked out. I was just telling Casey I haven't worked out in like two months because of my sciatic nerve and i can tell what is the sciatic nerve? it's like in your butt i thought i pulled a butt muscle and then it shoots up my fucking back and down my leg it's like horrible and i have to yeah. sleep on my stomach or i get sleep paralysis and bad nightmares if i sleep on my Jeez. back so when i have the sciatics acting up i fucking i have to sleep on my back it's like a it, the whole thing's bad are you falling apart I don't know. When you saw where they got the cancer off my neck, luckily that's yeah. better. And yeah, my butthole's hurting. Can't, I don't know. I'm always thinking this sciatica. is <laughs> this could be the end. I could be at the very end of everything. Can't be. How old are you? Thirty six. And we're the same. You're thirty six too. Thirty six. Yeah. February. January. Nineteen eighty seven. Eighty seven. What are you in Aquarius? Pisces. <laughs> First Pisces. <laughs> when were you born? What time? Whoa. On a Thursday. Or like what day of the, or what the date? Oh, February 19th. Excuse me. Okay, 19th. 19th. Yeah, supposed to be born on Valentine's or uh, yeah, Valentine's Day. Supposed to be. Came early? Came early in the, I was going to die if I didn't. Know. Wow. Umbilical cord. Really? <laughs> yeah. Really? Wrapped around your head? In Memphis? Wrapped around my Is neck three times. Casey shredded That's at 14. Not, I can't <laughs> find it, but I found this picture. <laughs> 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 I like, I tried to look it up. <laughs> I just to, what the fuck? <laughs> I tried That's to look great. it up by the year, and the first picture that popped up was me doing a, uh, like, the mangina thing. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. You tuck your dick and balls. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Like, the first, I searched, because you can search keywords on your photos, and I searched strong. <laughs> and mangina came up? I, and then it was just me doing a mangina like eight years ago. That was funny. See, that's fun, Casey. So for yeah. you, you have like your photos from when you would have been started kind of taking them because yeah. you kind of had... I know. See, I, that seems fun that you have like a bunch of old, like older ones. Yeah, I, feel, I never go through them. They make me sad, but there's a lot of funny stuff in there. No, yeah. uh, do they really? Well, I'm getting a little older and I miss yeah. the days of my youth. Yeah. No, I hear you. And the fucking landslide song starts playing. That song is so <laughs> sad. Landslide, Ugh. bring you. One of those girls is from Olympic. What? Oh, one really? of the Dixie Chicks. Yeah, I forget which one. Whoa. One of the chicks, not no longer the Dixie Chicks. The chicks. Chick. Oh yeah, did they change their name? Yeah. I gotta find this thing. I forget which one. She's from Lubbock, though. But yeah, you're asking. I'm from Lubbock, Texas. I've been here uh, 17 years now. Cool. Have you liked it here? Yeah, I mean it's very, you know. Are you used you to this heat? 
Yeah, I mean, you kind of never really get used to it. You just kind of deal with it. Yeah, yeah. But I've been dealing with it. Stay inside a bunch. You got to take your walks yeah. at night or something. Yeah, jump in the pool. Oh, uh, yeah, the pool where we're living, it finally opened up. They said it was going to be July 4th, and it has been closed for eight months. Not that I ever even really went out there, <laughs> so I can't act like it was something I was losing out on at all. Yeah. But they finally did it. Yeah, like, jump in the pool. Jump in the. You ever go to the river? Jump in the creek? No. Creek's good. I know. I need to. Wait, oh. what creek? I don't oh. even know what creek. Like Barton Creek. Barton Springs. Oh, it's freezing. Yeah, it stays cold. Yee. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I actually, I've been there twice, I think. I saw topless chicks. There were naked girls there. Oh, you went to the paid side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was like 100, 200 bucks or something. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I think it's you got cheap. ripped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like $200 to Jeez. get over there. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least it's getting better now. Yeah, it's been so hot. I just hunker down inside and think about all my ailments and... Yeah clench my butthole some and hang it's with, still there hang with the wawa hang with the wawa yeah. um hang with the wawa hang with the yeah, later. dog yeah i thought that's what you were saying i thought that no i'm kidding the, what's the wawa the chihuahua the wawa. oh yeah yeah oh my gosh i have to remember that i've never even heard wawa <laughs> that's a wonderful thing yeah i've been hanging with the wawa we're praying to god she doesn't have cancer on her leg yeah hopefully not and the dog, the Wawa? The, the Wawa. Wawa, yeah. I've been calling her that for a while now. <laughs> Had you ever heard that before? <laughs> no, that's, so. what, that's what they call uh, the bus in Puerto Rico also. La Wawa. Oh, really? <laughs> Is that true? Yeah. Have you ever been to Puerto La Rico? Wawa. Yeah, I lived in Puerto Rico for like five months. Oh, was it cool? It was pretty cool. Um, There's some really cool sites. I got to see the Bioluminescence Bay. Oh, like, that's cool. I've seen pictures, I think, of the what that looks like i've it's seen that fucking, also it's fucking sweet isn't it it's amazing yeah it, one of the coolest the one things i've ever Rica? seen yeah yeah uh, you kind of like uh you kind of like kayak through a ravine at night and it's like you probably do that for like i don't know what do you say grant 20 minutes 30 minutes or something yeah and then it like opens up into this big lagoon and it's like stars and then you put the paddle on the the water it's like cool kind of blue and you put your hand in there that sounds nice yeah you used to be able to jump in there but uh they said like all the people's like deodorants and stuff were killing some of the yeah. bacteria. People but, mess up everything. Yeah. Deodorants. <laughs> yeah, deodorant on people fucks everything up. That has a <laughs> bunch of silver in it. That's why people stop yeah. using it. Yeah. Did you yeah. send me an image, Casey? I'm looking for it. I'm scrounging through here. I don't even know. Is that yours? I should that, just uh, give up. No, oh. she looks sort of similar to that. She has like long hair. No, yeah, no. we went to the, or I went to the vet earlier, and I couldn't yeah. go back there when she was getting her shots. I was like, is everything all right? And the lady looked at me weird when I walked in. My hair was kind of crazy, so I don't know, because I hadn't <laughs> brushed it. So I was starting to get self-conscious, like, what does she think I'm crazy? Like, why can't yeah. it? Because I've been able to go back the other two times. Yeah, it was very strange. She just took the sweet dog out of my hands, and then I'm sitting there like, am I messing up right now as a <laughs> dog parent? Like, I do I need to go back there right now? Yeah. And I chickened out, and I didn't go. That's what I thought. The lady had an attitude right when I walked in there. Black lady? No. Uh, it was really, it was hard to tell. Um, no, I'm kidding. One was, of those. <laughs> <laughs> One of those. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know. It was really hard. And then now the sweet dog is, she is out like a light. Because yeah. the lady said the shot was going to really take it out of her. And then I was just playing, I was back on my Diablo 4 bullshit. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm currently a level 75. That's pretty... Damn. Yeah, that's a lot. I've been putting in a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of effort. I'm hoping it pays off. I don't know if it will. I think it will. What? Have you found the treasure goblin? I have found the treasure goblin a couple of times. Uh, it's really exciting. <laughs> have you ever seen a treasure goblin, Andre? Is, it, is that this? That's Medusa, Ooh, isn't it? She's gorgeous. Ooh, yeah, beautiful. They really made her look good on this new one. A lot of horn. No, what's a treasure goblin? It's a goblin that you have to chase after it for a long ways, and it's dropping. That thing's really dropping. You were talking about the picking up the change and stuff earlier, the, the people's wishes. I mean, it's pretty much dropping wishes. Huh. Uh, it's dropping different things you can use. Pots and pans. Yeah, a lot of pots and pans. He's like a cook or something. It's the weirdest. Hey, super weird. 
Yeah, there he is. Would you like a pan? A box of band aids. <laughs> He's always trying to sell you pans. Yeah. It's like, dude, I'm in the middle of a nightmare dungeon right now. I'm not trying to talk about <laughs> pots and pans, dude. I'm on a timeline right now, piece of shit. Speaking of which, I got to get my knives sharpened. Oh, yeah. I'm just looking at this guy's swords. Do you know how to do that? No. Do you have a bunch of knives? I got like a nice Goblin. knife set, but I've had it for a while. What? Like what sort of knife set? Like, like steak knives and... Oh. oh. What are y'all thinking? I immediately was picturing, I don't know, immediately like a pocket knife. And then when uh, you started describing it a little more, I was picturing like some sort of like wild looking blade. Yeah. That you'd put in a sheath or something. Uh, Katana. Yeah, something like this. But you know, it's funny, my homie, you, so you remember, did y'all get the unemployment text during, uh... Yep, COVID? Yeah, COVID, yeah. 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 And, yeah. uh... I don't know. One day I hit up my homie. I was like, hey, dog, what's going on? He's like, you just got that unemployment check. He's like, oh, yeah. I was like, what you going to do with it? He's like, I just bought a couple of samurai swords. <laughs> they're, they're in fucking root. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> that was crazy. That's funny. But, I wonder what you do with something like that. Can you, like, cut watermelons in half, like different stuff in half, or do you li literally just leave them up on a shelf? I mean, you could do whatever, I guess. Yeah. Really. yeah. Cut off a hemorrhoid if you... If you're, you're precise enough. enough. <laughs> yeah. I know. If you're brave enough. You could do that. And keep on saying it, but it literally looks like the predator's mouth. Yeah, I heard you say that yesterday. I know. That's what I've been saying a bunch. I think I'm grossing people out. I don't mean to, but it just shocks me. I swear I was looking at it now, I don't know, 45 minutes ago. It's like, it looks like I have, not that y'all care, I'll stop talking about it, but it looks like I have well, two buttholes right now. Yeah, now I'm interested. What's the angle that you, you got two mirrors going here? No, I just <laughs> lean over. There's a mirror in the bathroom and I just lean over and I think look off to my left and just open it up. Gotcha. <laughs> I can look. Yeah, I can look to my side. Does it look something similar to this? <laughs> kind of like that. It's more It's more of a pinkish color, and then the thing's actually like real purple, I think. That is the predator's mouth. Hmm. That's a predator's mouth. Yes. Yeah, the Sarlacc pit. <laughs> Interesting. Is that Star Trek? I don't know. Some sort of scary thing. It looks like the thing from... Uh... What was that last Jordan Peele movie? Oh, the nope. balloon? Nope. nope. Didn't that balloon thing have something similar to that? Big mouth, swallow? Yeah. Go, 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 go. Take to space. What, that thing? Yeah. That thing. So it swallows people and then does them into space? Yeah, it does them right up. Yep. Uh, right into the star. Didn't it drop? It used to drop. It dropped a few people, didn't it? Yeah, a couple people fell. Yeah. Scary. Oh, after the Sarlacc bit? Yeah, after the Sarlacc. They didn't make it up into the... At the gravitational pull still had them. They weren't, they weren't the chosen ones. Bullshit when that happens. Grant, I, I sent you a picture. Did you get it? Uh, let me look. Take a peek. I couldn't exactly find the one of me looking really, really strong, but I did find <laughs> something. You okay, did? I found okay. I see it, yeah. It's not me doing the Mangina thing, but... I'm grateful. <laughs> 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 yeah, I almost asked to see I, for that. I almost asked so to look at that. I took the picture and I printed it out, the Mangina thing, and I would post it all over the house. When I was living in Atlanta, I would like hide it. At, let's say somebody just got some new turkey meat or something. I would hide it like in the fold. So that when they would open the turkey meat, it would just be a little picture. <laughs> That's <hilarious. laughs> I'd put it in my friend's wallets and stuff when they were sleeping. That's funny. He had a great idea at uh, the mothership when people get kicked out. It was like on the way out when they're getting the, their phones on yonder, he just runs up. He's like, here's a picture of Grimace at the Pentagon. We're going <laughs> to we're, we're yeah. need you to leave. Before you, before you go, here, man, we feel kind of bad about all this. Uh, we're going to need you to leave now. <laughs> picture of Grimace at his first communion. You got to take off, though. People, I, I have the, like, what the, fuck? I have yeah. the image if yeah. you want to. Throw the image up. Okay. Okay, so that's me when I had, Whoa. When I had an eye disease. Whoa. Very scary to see. As you can see, one which of the one, eyes. Which one is diseased? Scary. Here. Um, Moving over to this side. <laughs> is that better? Yeah. There you go. Pretty scary stuff. So that's just me with a big old smile while my eyes are failing me. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't blame the right eye. The I think it's the one doing all the. I think it's my left is the Yeah, which one, one is the bad one? <laughs> the red, the, well, the other one's really pin dropped. Maybe they gave me pain. There we go. Something. Look at those eyes. Jesus. The one on the right was almost dead, completely dead. 
uh, what stage right? I write a stage right. Stage right. All right. <laughs> nope. <laughs> right that right. Wow. What was the disease? Did they ever yeah. tell you? It's called iritis. <laughs> and it makes You're it You're kidding. Iritis. It's iritis. where the iris of your eye. Uh, it's true. Uh, right. when, it, <laughs> when it sees light, whatever the eye term is, it spasms your eyeball. So it can't be exposed to any sort of light or else it'll have a muscle spasm and it's like excruciating pain. Did so you just wear to, shades? They have to keep it dilated. So that's why it's so big. You have to keep it dilated because if it's dilated, it can't shrink and it can't spasm. For how long? For like two months. It was awful. I've had it like four times. Was it just like drops of Molly and the, yeah, just right drops. Of, so yeah, one of my <laughs> eyes was fucking... just fucking massive. Yeah. <laughs> I looked like David Bowie. Yeah, Jeez. his eyes were like. Did you have to wear sunglasses? Yeah, yeah, I'd wear like an eye patch, like inside. Wow. And then in public, I'd wear sunglasses. It was an eye patch have like a soccer goal and soccer ball in it. Yeah. Yeah. My brother Vance has had one. He had to wear an eye patch. Like a spider's web. Yeah. Yeah. That's a cool one. That was a good one. Yikes. Eye stuff is scary. Yeah. Not cool. Goodbye. Almost lost my vision. I had some sort of eye infection for like a year. It was nothing that bad at all. But for about a year, I was like, what do I have pink eye this whole time? And then it just kind of. For a whole year? cleared up and i was also peeing and there'd be blood in my pee and i was like ah fuck it i'm gonna keep drinking wow <laughs> yeah I mean, I was right, living you're with sober. The, you're sober now. i guess that's what i've been telling people i've started sneaking air i've been getting erica uh uh what are they the ciders and don't tell anybody but i've been sneaking i've been drinking like i drank like three last night I've just had enough, like this fucking, the sciatic, now the fucking marble size thing in my butthole. It's like, things are literally falling apart. Let me have a little fun before I fucking. Yeah. I have a couple little stinky little ciders, man. Yeah, yeah I mean, no ciders are though. fun and it's only like 6% alcohol. So it's like three of those. It's like, I don't know. It's probably less than a steel reserve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good to measure alcohol on a, on a one to steel reserve. It's a good scale. <laughs> Three ciders equals one steel reserve. I had I had two old fashions last night. It's about twenty steel reserves. Yeah, it's twenty or thirty. Yeah. Ooh, how was that? Was that fun? Yeah, it was fine. Cool. So you don't have a drinking problem? I probably do. No, you don't. No, it's not terrible. No, you don't. I mean, no, you, I'm kidding. I'm not sure terrible. everything's fine. I'm sure I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm I don't, consistently drinking, like, almost all the time. Yeah. But like it's not like, are. yeah, but I don't get, like, blacked out every night. It's not like that. Well, that's not bad. That's good, though. Okay. It keeps a then nice, a soft buzz going. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. fun. See, I wish I could do that. And I was kidding about the things, but I was, the other night I did get Erica some ciders, and then I was acting like I was drinking one. She was like, "Stop!" Yeah. Oh, you didn't. Like, act- no, I'm really fucking drinking this time. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't, you didn't actually. Get- <laughs> uh, yeah, no, you I have wouldn't. a problem. Yeah, I. Well, yeah, I have a problem. To say the least. Yeah. To say the least. Rocket, you you sober too? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got a problem also? Yes, I have a terrible alcohol problem. And no, drugs. Really Did and drugs. you ever go to AA meetings or anything? Yeah, I used to go in really? college. Yeah. yeah. Did you? Yeah. I had to go to detox a couple times. I had a really bad drinking problem. What's the, what was the rock <laughs> bottom? Like, I don't know, different things. Yeah. The, yeah. the last know? time I drank was in Austin. So I've been sober for almost two years, but I was sober for five years before that. And I got shit faced and I fell asleep in the, <laughs> in the trailer of Sunset Strip comedy that's so funny i remember <laughs> that rv back yeah. there yeah the trailer <laughs> up partying and stuff and doing drugs and yeah and then i i fell asleep there and then someone called me an uber and then i woke up in a podcast studio oh. in way north austin and i was living in my car at the time so i woke up and i was in this podcast studio and I had no idea how I got, I'd never been in there before. Yeah. And I was like, dude, I'm too old for this shit. I was like, I can't be waking up. Damn. I was like the only one. And I was like, what? Yeah. I don't know yeah. who sent me there. <laughs> That's <laughs> so funny. Yeah. What? Had you not been drinking for five years and then moved to Austin and then started drinking a little and then just stopped? I again? was sober for five years and then I drank during quarantine. And then oh, I, okay. I drank okay. a bunch and then I was sober. I'd be sober for like six months and I would drink. Sober for six months and I'd drink. Yeah. So yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, how's it been for you? Have you generally positive thing, not doing it? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty used to it because I didn't, you know, for the most yeah. part, I haven't really drank since so I was 21 or whatever. But yeah, it's a nightmare. It makes me really sad all the time, but it's better than drinking. Yeah, it's really boring. Wait, what makes you sad? Not drinking? Boredness, bored. Yeah. Yeah, every now and yeah. again, like I was, I kid myself in my head. I don't think I'd do it because the opposite was really, it was a nightmare for me as well. Yeah, but yeah. like, yeah, every now and again, I'm like, oh, let me, but not enough. Not enough to Just, do I'm it. joking with myself. I'm not, I wouldn't actually yeah. do it. Yeah. I don't know. Wait for a tragedy or something. Yeah, right. There, were, there's, there will be a time. There might be a time yeah. in the future. That's what I hang on to. Yeah. <laughs> I probably just should quit drinking. I've parked a car in a ditch and then went and slept with a girl and then got it towed the next morning. Oh, damn. Yeah. Damn. When was that? Like last week? <laughs> no, that was yeah. like five years ago, four or five years ago. Cool. Like hopped the damn. curb at the apartment complex. Dropped it in the ditch and it was like, I'm not getting this out, but I'm also not going to miss out on this girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so she had no idea. I'll just leave at like seven in the morning to take care of it. So, what were you able to get it out of the ditch in the morning? I had it towed out of the ditch. Oh my God. I was, fu- I was fucked up. Damn. <laughs> whiskey. So, you were oh, lucky whiskey. nothing happened. Yeah. But I mean, I feel like that might be a sign of a problem. <laughs> yes. When that happens. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was on Xanax, I'm sure I said it before, and probably a bunch of whiskey and almost totaled my car with people in it, all probably not wearing seatbelts. I knocked off my side mirror on a telephone pole. That's how close I was to slamming into a telephone pole. Jesus. It's funny thinking about that stuff, just how life would be different. There's a couple of times, like that probably would have changed some trajectory or, I don't know. Six inches to the right. It could, I don't know. In what way? If better or worse or what? Just, it would just be different, maybe. I don't fucking know. Yeah, I I told you that thing where I was driving on Super Bowl Sunday when I was like 16. I told you that, right? I think I talked about it on here. I I fucking was blackout drunk and I curbed my car trying to like Tokyo Drift or something, <laughs> which was a theme. It happened to me several <laughs> times. It happened to me at least two times. I would get wasted. I would be like, I'm going home, boys. And I would try to Tokyo Drift, but I didn't know how to do it. So I would just jerk the wheel and it was like, I'd hit a mailbox or something. Yeah, ended up Sri Lanka sliding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sri Lanka sliding. I thought the idea being, I didn't know about the e brake. I thought if you just went fast enough and you jerk it, like centrifugal force would like push the car yeah, around. Of course, yeah. But, it did but I curved it. <laughs> I curved it and it knocked the tire, boom, under my car. So it like snapped the axle. Ooh. Damn. And the only thing I remember is driving, and I live like three miles away from my friend's house, and I'm driving, and my car is going like one mile an hour because there's three tires, <laughs> uh, and these sparks are flying out, and there's a line of cars behind me like honking. That's great. And I'm leaning out the window, and I'm going, go around. <laughs> go around. Did you have your hazards on? <laughs> Probably not. No. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I just woke up and it was in my driveway. My mom was really bad. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Did you get grounded or anything? Was yeah. there any sort of repercussions for that? I think she said, I'm not even going to talk to you. <laughs> she oh, like gave me the yeah. cold shoulder. Wow. Yeah. I can't even do this. What a way to find out your concept of physics. <laughs> Is that what you thought it was? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how do you do it? How I think do you, you, pull, do you, you pull the e brake and you uh, pull the e brake. Yeah, pull it and then like have the thing going, yeah. the wheel going or something. I think it has to be r- if it's rear a man- drive or something. That's an automatic you're talking about. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. an automatic, yeah. Because I think in a manual you can just oh, probably. gun it. You like, drive a manual? Not anymore. I used to. I wish I knew how to do that. <laughs> it's worth learning. I'll teach you. You really would? Yeah, I'll teach you. It's very easy. Okay. It's very Once you get the, it's just this, and then once you get the timing with your feet, that's easy. Cool. Wait, do you know how to, Casey? No. Uh, we teach both of us. Yeah, I teach both. Teach us both. Yeah, yeah. You really would? Yeah, of course. But we need to find a car that does has a manual transmission. Yeah. I think everybody should learn how to. That's good for you. Yeah, it, it just sucks good. in traffic. It sucks in traffic, and it sucks like on hills. Yeah, that's what I've heard. If you're trying to like parallel park on a hill or just fucking at a stoplight on a hill. Yeah, it sucks. Ooh. Traffic yeah. is the worst because you got to constantly keep oh, switching gears right. and like. But it's, you know, it's worth learning. Well, we have to. We have to figure this out. Grant, do you know how? Yeah. 
Okay. So, I mean, I mean, right. yeah, I know how as well. Uh, have you ever driven a motorcycle? None for me. Too scary. I've been on the back of a motorcycle. The day I decided to uh, stop drinking, I had met some dude who was a door guy at the Vulcan very briefly at the very beginning. And I met him and he kind of in a weird way was like this weird catalyst for me to stop drinking. But I remember I was doing my fur. It was very strange. And I remember uh, doing some, my first show I was doing at the Vulcan or something and I drove with, I was holding him on the back of his motorcycle and we went from where I live to the Vulcan. Yeah. And I was scared to death. The whole thing. You weren't laughing the whole way? No, I wasn't. The whole thing. Because I was. (laughs) Yeah. Faster. (laughs) (laughs) So I had a scooter, I had a scooter downtown and I ran into my homie and he got on the back and we were just laughing. He's holding my hips and we're just like laughing about this. One of those scooters? Yeah, just like a little moped. (laughs) We're just like, this is hilarious. That's fun. (laughs) That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. But I was going to say, if you've ever driven a motorcycle, it's uh, similar. I'd love to get on a motorcycle, but I don't think I ever would, because what about all the crazy people out there? Wouldn't they end up pulling out in front of you and you die? I mean, that's a bit dramatic, but that could happen, yeah. 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 <laughs> I can't do it because they go too fast. <laughs> I would kill myself going too fast. You would? For sure. How fast have you ever gone in a car? Uh, I've been in a car that's probably done like 130, 140. Like on a, than I've ever been on a residential street. <laughs> on a residential street. <laughs> like like city residential streets. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh damn. I wasn't driving. The fastest I've ever taken a car is probably a hundred, one ten, something like that. Yeah. yeah. So a motorcycle. <laughs> and they the motorcycles fucking get up and go. Yeah. And it's yeah. Like, just fucking I just realized these are a bunch of Vespas, I think. <laughs> Not yeah. as cool. Those aren't hogs, man. Vespas. I like the old school looking Vespa. Oh, the, the Italian, Italian joints? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but same deal. What if somebody hits you? I don't know. Uh, no, it's, it's mad dangerous for sure. Look at that. The Nissan <clears throat> GT2000. <laughs> I'm kidding. GT2000. What is that? <laughs> it looks like a Nissan. <clears throat> Nissan of Nissan some sort. Like... Yeah, we're oh. pretty big car guys on here. We end up talking mm-hmm. about cars a lot on here. Yeah. yeah. I can't really, I really don't know. This is the most low key podcast I've ever done. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> That's great. You could do this for six hours straight. Yeah. Sit here, shoot That's what shit. we did last week, I think. Six Talk hours. Engines. A bunch of engines. Look, yeah, there's really? a uh, McLaren X80. Wait a minute. Are y'all really car guys? Yeah. Yeah. That's there's, the spi- they, made... they call that one the spider's web. Yep. How many did they make of those, Casey? <laughs> Couldn't have been more than 40 or 50. Yeah, it's like 40 or 50. It's like a supercar, the X80. Yeah. McLaren. It was the spider's web of of Beijing. Huh. Can I get in your McLaren? That's what people say. I don't know. <laughs> no, and I'll be honest, Andre, we're pulling your leg. I don't know no, what I know. this is. Yeah, no, I, know. I don't even know where Beijing is, dude. Oh, you knew? I thought we were pulling your leg for a second. No, I figured it out when he was like, ah, 40 or 50. <laughs> Just a pretty dead giveaway. <laughs> Not a very accurate. Yeah, see. Couldn't have been that many. No granting on the joke. Nice. The spider's web, baby. This is great. It's all three of y'all being in on the joke for the guests. And he's like, okay. And then we just walk away with wrong facts. <laughs> yeah, people walk away with wrong facts. Yeah, Grant's having a little fun now. You're yeah. scaring at least you're yeah. scaring me a little at the beginning, Grant. Was I not having fun? Huh? Was I not? Well, it's was, was hard to tell. It's, yeah. You seem stressed about the new mo- the, about the move. That seems like a question only you can answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought I was okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make y'all uncomfortable. It's fine. Well, it's more about these wires on the floor than anything. <sighs> yeah. We all have wires, Grant. It's our emotions. <laughs> yeah. And when you have a panic attack, it's like coiled, it's like, like coiled wires but going they, on. Not all of us leave yeah, our emotions right. out on the floor. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, that was weird. Grant, it happened again. Um, oh, boy. All right, well, I have a top three. You want to hear it? Oh, do you? Yeah. Well, it's pretty sinister. A it's a segment, but this is going to be a little bit different than what I've normally done. So let me look up some generic Christmas music. Okay. <laughs> and you can do that on what, YouTube? I guess just YouTube.com. YouTube.com. 
I don't even think you have to put the dot com yeah, anymore. <laughs> let's get the app, I guess. <laughs> I know people. It, it first it was the www yeah. that got dropped, and now yeah. dot com is dropped. It's just oh, everything's on the internet. Yeah, yeah. the streamlining everything. Yeah. Go. <laughs> Not that. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like a classic. <laughs> it's ads. <laughs> okay, oh. so. <laughs> Casey's top three. All right, cool. So this week, I'm venturing into some uncharted territories, gentlemen. Interesting. Very cool. Nothing says the summer like listening to songs <laughs> and soaking up the sun. Welcome. <laughs> Did you say sucking up the sun? Soaking up the sun. Okay. Welcome, if you will, for your viewing pleasure and for your listening ears, the top three songs of the summer. Damn. Oh. Yeah. So I wrote three songs, and I'm going to perform them for you. Oh, my gosh. These are top three songs yeah. of the summer. Original. Summer They're, 2023. They're original, original songs. Original songs, 2023, start of the summer. What a treat. <laughs> okay. So I wrote these last what night. I can't exactly remember the cadence that they're sung in. So I guess I'll try to find it as it goes on. Okay, so this first song. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's see. So this this first song is called Santa's Dying Wish. Again. <laughs> so, right. Songs at the summer. All right. <clears throat> all right. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> oh, it's getting me. All right. He left us. <laughs> Santa's dying wish. All right, we can do it. We got it. He left us 40 years ago today. <laughs> Santa took his last ride on his Christmas sleigh. Ooh. He had six beers, then he had six more. He hit his wife, then he walked out right side of the door. Damn, Santa. The Christmas police, they tracked him down. Chris Kringle pulled out his piece and began to frown. <laughs> Ten shots later, Santa was no more. Forty years ago today, years ago today, and his trademark beard lay in pieces on the floor. Mm. They shot his beard off. <laughs> they shot his beard off. <laughs> Closed casket. Suicide by cop. Closed casket. Wow. He must have really got lit up. <sighs> man, damn. Yeah, yeah. That one's good. That one is sad. <laughs> Thanks, I mean, man. That's a little dark. Oh my gosh. Whatever. Yeah, it's about like how parents like we got to do better with kids so they don't grow up like to be like that with Santa. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah, it's a weird part of our society these days, just how <sighs> parents are teaching kids about Santa. I mean, we're talking 40 years ago. My math is pretty bad, but what are we talking? 83? 83. Just about, yeah. Yeah. What, July 5th, just the day after July 4th? He must have really been having fun. That's a wicked hangover, I tell you what. Yeah. That's a wicked, dead. wicked hair of the dog. Could you situation. imagine? I couldn't imagine waking up dead like that. It's a hangover from hell. Literally waking up in hell because you died. Yeah. Having was, six beers, hitting your wife, who you normally loved, Mrs. Claus. Yeah. She put up with a bunch. Then he leaves, he gets on the sleigh, he's drunk as hell. The Christmas police track him down. Santa pulls out a loaded gun. Wow. And they shoot him ten times, his beard falls off closed casket. So the beard was fake the entire time. The beard was fake the whole time. People yeah. need to know that part, though. Yeah. People yeah. don't know that part. Because at first I had asked you if they shot the beard, because I thought it was on his face, but it <laughs> fell off. <laughs> shot, the shot. prop fell off. No, 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 no. It was a fake beard, but they shot the string and wow. it fell off. Yeah. Damn. Oh, sharpshooters. Yeah, yeah, they, they had the snipers. Yeah, I mean, Christmas police. That's a notoriously brutal yeah. task force, for sure. Yeah. Known for their accuracy. Yep. Presence. For sure. I mean, it Regular. takes a lot to get into that force. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just sort of their calm demeanor where they can just take a breath and, okay, I'm going to shoot the beard off. Yeah. It's like a Navy SEAL. They're like the Navy SEALs of special departments like that holiday. the christmas police yeah, yeah holiday, holiday departments holiday. for sure yeah. mall departments yeah department stores at the mall where people shop but okay so, wow. so the second one is a little more <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> the second one is a uh, little more uh, rock and roll. Cool. So All right. A little more beat. This is going to be pretty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that other one was wonderful. Hey, Got to sad a little. Hey, That's a, yeah. You know. I, I don't. <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. Hell yeah. This one's called The Milkman's March. All right. <laughs> All right, one second. <laughs> Summer's not all it's meant to be. Summer's not always good to me. <laughs> I've been really, really sad since my dad got sick. Now the government has another trick. God is dead, and I have the proof. Because the price of milk is through the roof. <laughs> the milkman's March 20,000 strong. Where did all the cows go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Milk should be one dollar a pound. Instead, the White House is full of clowns. We got to get out there and vote. Yeah. First yeah. of all, cool. Twenty thousand milkmen. Twenty thousand strong, and just an army of milkmen. So that was the yeah okay that's the milkman it's twenty thousand. Yeah. I didn't know if it was part of the movement or is the movement looking stronger right now? No. It's more and more by the day. That's wonderful. Yeah. And you're so right. Like, just the proof that we're living literally in a actual hellhole right now. Price of milk. Like, go to through. Randall's. Go to yeah. Through go to Randall's, through and you're gonna roof. see what the milk costs these days. I mean, it's coming out of a fucking cow. There's cows everywhere. It's like yeah. who's running this shit? The cows are sick. The government's even sicker, and it's trickle down sickness from the top. Yeah, yeah you hear about trickle down down economics. To listen to listen about trickle down milk, dude. Literally <laughs> out of a calf. I I realized uh, I went to a Mexican restaurant the other day. Yeah, and uh, I couldn't believe it. the price of Tres Leches cake. Really, from the milk, and that's made out of milk. It's made out of milk. Three milks. Oof. That's yeah. What three milk? Because it's condensed. Triple yeah, pride. one's condensed, one's oat. Double. Three separate kinds. Oh, yeah, Trace. So that means three cheese. No, three milk. Three milk. Three milks. So so don't get Trace Lessers. Unless don't. you got a fucking gold bouillon to spare. Yep. Yep. Yeah, unless you got a spare bouillon. <laughs> and not a lot of people have spare bouillons, right? No. No, not at all. I mean, especially with what's going on in France right now. Have y'all seen all that shit? It's like a Big gold of... protest. You talking yep. about the earthquakes? Earthquakes, gold <laughs> protests, uh, something about the size of the francs literally right now. They're thinking yeah, about the shrinking their huge. actual money right oh. now. Too small. Yeah, too small of eh, France. <laughs> the francs. Make them smaller. <laughs> yeah, they want them even smaller. Which doesn't make sense. And English people can use pounds. It's the French people who use the francs, and they're like, what? It's not y'all's business. Yeah. Keep, out of, keep out of our mess. Yeah. Mind your business, please. Well, this is the third song. <laughs> And this one... I mean, the first two have been... <laughs> something else. The first two were pretty good. The second one was better than the first one, but they're all good songs. <laughs> uh, real quick. Uh. <laughs> it was more... Uh, it was a little more upbeat. Don't yeah. say it was... They were both great. It was a little more upbeat. They definitely were. Uh... <laughs> I was going to ask about uh, your father getting sick in the second yeah, okay, song. Okay, yeah, so go on. That's where it really took a <laughs> took a turn for me, but uh, what happened? <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, that's just the milkman's creed. So a lot of milkmen don't have dads. <laughs> They're all sad. Like, their dad got sick. It's a milkman's creed. They have to... Gotcha. Like, it's like if you join, like, an assassin group, they have to know that, like, you have, like, nothing to lose. Like, you can't have, like, loved ones or anything. Fair enough. You can't actually dedicate to the game. Yeah. If like, you are holding on to oh, you got no shit parents. you love. Yeah. Yeah. I got Hell you. Yeah. you have to move past your past life. You have to go into your new life when you join the force like that. Yeah, blood in, blood out. I don't know if I've ever seen that movie, but <sighs> yeah, I wasn't allowed when it came out. Who was in that one? Uh, blood in, blood out. DMX. It's good. Yeah, I think uh, Oprah. Oprah, DMX. Oprah, DMX. Sean Claude. Sean Claude. It was one of his last <laughs> movies, I think. Sean Claude. <laughs> Before he got sick. Yeah, he got oh. the big sick. Yeah, Car accident. The yeah, biggest. the big kind. <laughs> okay, so this last one, this is pretty. You're gonna love this. All right. <laughs> the big kind of car the, the accident. Big, the, big, the biggest. The big guy. sick. The, the big, big sick <laughs> car accident. <laughs> all right, you might recognize this one. 
Uh, hell yeah. I'm half. I don't know if that one works as well. One second. <laughs> Let me find another generic rock and roll beat. In the <laughs> meantime, can we pull up the the cast of Blood In, Blood Out? Yeah, Grant, let's go ahead and pull that up, but don't lose track of what's going on here. Oh, yeah, sorry. And you have, been, we, you have been doing have great, Grant, okay? You're doing, yeah, we don't have to. I was just wondering oh, if that was a possibility. Oh, this is good. <laughs> oh, cool. Hell yeah. All right, well, here goes nothing. This one's called. <laughs> well, this we one's know. called. <laughs> <laughs> this is called Business. It's in the game. Some of you guys might know this one. Very cool. That is business. It's the name of the game. Business. It's driving me insane. Business. Somebody hand me my suit. Business. Somebody hand me a flute. I work in a flute store two days a week. <laughs> the pay's not good, but the clients are freaks. I remember that one. That's a good one. I remember that one. Yeah, that's a good. Uh, oh my god! Yeah, it's called business. It's in the game. Yeah. So that makes sense why you would still work there only two days a week. Clients are freaks. Makes sense. Because when you said you weren't getting paid good work in there, I start thinking to myself, well, stop. Yeah, don't, but, you don't have to go in there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah but, it's two days a week. It's probably part-time. You could probably just, yeah, you could probably give them your two weeks. But, yeah. Part-time work. Full-time freaks. Yeah, yeah. Full <laughs> yeah, you can take work home with you if you're a damn freak. Ugh. That's pretty good. Kiss on the lips and ass. Very cool. And on a flute, yeah, those people are notoriously, I remember, what was that movie, that popular movie that came out in like 2000? Uh, it was a summer uh, summer comedy blockbuster. Um, Chelsea's Choice? Chelsea's Choice. <laughs> yeah, there was a girl who <laughs> was, uh, it was, yeah, she liked to blow on flutes and did other <laughs> stuff. It, she was a freak in Chelsea's Choice. She, okay. Is that the one she was always trying to get in the band? Yes. But they would never let her in? Yep. Because of, yeah, cause she had six fingers. I remember that. <laughs> I know. She literally and figuratively was a freak. Not that I'd call her that, but... Yeah. Some people might. Without a doubt. You walk into a bar or something, they have six fingers. <laughs> it's a freak. Six fingers, not so bad. I know. Worse. It could, it could be, be worse. Chelsea's yeah. choice. Like, how do you find there, that there it so is. quickly? <laughs> there it is. I don't know. It, it actually exists. Oh, yes. Of course it does. I know. It yeah. Got it in the summer of 2000. Yeah. Black, yep. Comedy blockbuster. Comedy blockbuster. <laughs> There's not <laughs> enough of those. Chelsea's <laughs> choice. Yeah, it looks like it would be kind of like a hardcore, yeah. like, <laughs> like yeah. horror, a little dark, horror, vintage horror, thriller, yeah. something. But it's a funny one. Yeah, people should look it up. Chelsea's Choice. Cracks me up just thinking about it. Would afflicted you, with choice. Afflicted with choice. Yeah. That's what they said. That was the the tagline on it, or that was what they said. Chelsea's Choice. On the previews. Afflicted, afflicted with choice. Yeah, afflicted with choice. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Totally weird. Um, <laughs> but yeah, wait, Casey, would you ever learn how to play a flute? Oh. Or do you know yeah. how to play a flute? If the role called for it. Like if I was an actor and they needed me to play a flute, I'd I'd look into it. Probably a week or two, or good I don't know, more than a month. Yeah, no way. To learn a flute? How good can you oh, be man. at it? Yeah, no. That little guy with the little, uh, he'd probably be with the the guy in the the maze. What's the guy with the little like horse legs? He plays a flute. Centaur. Why did you laugh at that? Guy? The leprechaun. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. They have Chelsea's <laughs> Choice merch. Yeah, they had that's the Chelsea's other. Choice milk. Oh, it is. Oh milk. my gosh! Oh, right. I wonder what the huh? price on that is. Chelsea's Choice water yeah. or milk or something. The Milkman's Creed. Milkman's Creed. <laughs> oh, <my God>. When <laughs> did you write those songs? <laughs> I spent like a minute on it last night. Okay. Well, they were wonderful. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, the business one's pretty good, and I won't lie to you. The one about the milkman kind of was good too. It was really good. It had kind of like a yeah. like a British. Yeah post punk something it had a good attitude uh -huh. to it for, for sure, sure. Yeah. summer's not all it's meant to be yeah you, yeah was, yeah <laughs> very cool had a little twang in it first one a little dark but still potential a lot of I potential gave you a, there. yeah yeah oh thank you i like to grab that oh no it's uh the silver one below here here i'll move it onto your face <laughs> Boop. thank you nice 
Well, this is. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Yeah, it looks just perfect. Well, you could probably just grab that, and play that flute. <laughs> I can help you play. <laughs> <laughs> Directionally difficult. Yeah, it's really yeah, hard. Grab it's... it. <laughs> All right, thank you for okay. coming. Okay, yeah, thank you so much for coming. Yeah, it was a very fun episode. Is this the <laughs> We're at the end. Uh, that was great. Andre, where could people uh, find you? Uh, you can find me uh, in Austin, Texas. Cool. Yeah, I'll be there. Sounds good. Um, you have like an Instagram handle oh, or anything yeah, yeah. like that? DreRicks87, if you want to follow me. I'm not really big on cool social media stuff, you know? Cool. That's probably smart. Just come hang out. Find me wherever. Doing comedy shows and shit. He, the, oh, yeah. You run East Austin. Oh, yeah. That's right. He runs a comedy club I in run Austin. A, it's run great. A small little comedy club. East Austin Comedy Club. Come check it out. Also, we have South Austin Comedy Club now going. So, oh, yeah, nice. Come hang out with us there. That's cool. Yeah, that's pretty good. All righty. Well, Andre, thank you so much, my friend. Yeah, thanks for having me. You guys are great. Thank you. It was fun. So fun. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, I didn't know it, it, when it started. I didn't know it was going to end. <laughs> yeah, Grant, have you started it yet? <laughs> <Are> we, uh... <laughs> yeah, I think we only got like 15 minutes of that. Yeah. That's great, though. All righty. Well, thanks so much for being on. Yeah. Thank you. All righty. Bye. 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 Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of The William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737-471-1098. Never miss an episode of The William Montgomery Show by subscribing to The William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and see him live at the Vulcan Gas Company in Austin, Texas every Monday night. For more of me, Brett Erickson, check out Issues with Andy on Patreon. Find me on Twitter and Instagram at iBrettMyPants. This episode of The William Montgomery Show was recorded at Permanent Record Studios right here in the heart of Austin. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery and Brett Erickson. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Who the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.